Okay, welcome back to the channel, man. The grind don't stop. So, believe it or not, my videos are actually shot in a bit of a chronological order. So, I'm in what used to be my dining room. And obviously, as you can see, it's not a dining room. We got this 65 inch C9 OLED in here. And so, I'm getting ready to do a couple of things. Number one, I actually made a commitment and uh, one of my more previous uploads, you can check the card out, I'll throw it there, where I was asking if the C9 is the best OLED of all time, at this point at least, right? I seem to think so. And the reasons I gave was because I thought the TV offered the most revolutionary, groundbreaking experience to a consumer, right? All the different features they gave. Within that video, I was also having a conversation with the fellow subscriber about some issues he was having. So I got my 3090 build onto this and I'm gonna get ready to start gaming. I don't have the furniture in here yet. It's uh, you know kind of still picking out the stuff, but I got me a couple of lifetime chairs and lifetime tables so that I can comfortably game and play some hours worth of content on this. I'm also working on my new channel, my gaming channel, Gaming with TKK link in the description of this video right here go down below pause this go subscribe there i'd appreciate it this is actually where i'm going to start recording some content uh so that i can start posting it next week or the week after it depends on when you see this uh, on that channel so i'm going to get things set up but i need to make sure that i've got some quality audio right i love the c9 good sound system but um, I'm looking to get something a little bit better. So after I finish getting things set up and I roll my intro, we're gonna get right back to it. Okay, so if you have not seen the video where I purchased LG's gaming speaker, I did an in-depth review videos well over 20 minutes um i i got tired of recording for the video and there was a lot more content that i had within that video where i was just like i'm not even gonna do it because <laughs> i didn't like the speaker um you know so to not talk bad about the company you know i was a little bit disappointed the biggest thing was that i was excited because the speaker had a digital optical and once I got to the testing part of the video where I was comparing the TV sound the TV sound was just blowing that speaker away I mean it was just ridiculous and the speakers about this size right so it's a decent size um, it's cool it's got a lot of all-in-one features but for the price man for the price it's not enough there man so here we are today with this review of these speakers that are not new, this is manufactured by Logitech, um, and these are the Z625s. Uh, so similar to the Z623s, the 25s have the digital optical uh, opportunity, right? So it puts you in a position where if uh, you have a console or a gaming PC like I do uh, that has a digital optical, you can actually go directly into this. So they, they categorize this as being like the gaming version of the speaker uh, because of that. Right, whereas to the 623, um, it's gonna connect with an auxiliary cable for your traditional desktop application. And so you would have to have like a sound DAC or something like that to be able to take full advantage of it with a console or with a TV. You don't have to do that, or you'd have to use a headphone jack on the TV. With this, you're going straight optical, which is, in my opinion, gonna be more, more, more immersive, right? Gonna give me less latency with audio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this, get it connected to the TV, and actually do some testing of it um, within this video. All right, so let's get into the unboxing of this. And I don't wanna take a long time with this because I actually wanna get this connected uh, within this video so that we can actually test this and, and get some comparison. Again, all the audio tests you're gonna hear, I am wearing a clip mic um, with the wireless microphone connected. So it kind of is what it is, but after listening to the LG speaker review, I could definitely hear significant change going from the TV's audio versus that speaker. So hoping that you can kind of get the same here. And like you, I will be hearing it for the first time when you're hearing it. So when I play it back, I'll be able to tell if I'm wild or not. So just getting into the box presentation, the front of this is going to 
on this side kind of show you all the different opportunities you've got you actually have rca digital optical and auxiliary as connection means uh just going off of what i'm reading here this is a 400 watt max power system right um that's actually broken down in half so rms is typically going to be half of what the max is the max is rated at playing at the highest frequency in random times that's as high as it, it's rated to go in, in being safe continuously power you're going to be looking at 200 watts that's broken down to the two satellite speakers having 35 watts so 35 35 70 and then the subwoofer giving a continuous 130 watts of power so that's how you get the breakdown of this this is not a true 400 watt rms system this is 200 watts and that's the breakdown um it is thx certified so uh essentially meaning that it's supposed to be able to play in high quality no matter what you're playing be it music movies things like that and then obviously if you're playing content that is thx certified then the two are supposed to pair and give you the best reproduction of whatever it is you are listening to keep it in mind this is a stereo system this is going to be very common for you know your gaming desktop area um or like what you would have on a tv because when you listen to a tv your tv is stereo so i'm not really concerned there okay so after taking a look at this thing i didn't really look at it the way that i needed to there's already kind of a diagram laid out for you so it tells you that the left speaker is going to have the RCA jack right here, like so. Plugging that in. Right speaker is going to have this, what looks like a VGA uh, connection, a 15 pin. You can plug that in. And just like a VGA cable, you can actually screw that in uh, to make sure that it's tight so it does not disconnect. Now, keeping in mind, this uh, right speaker is going to essentially be responsible for housing the power for these okay um, this 15 pin connector is going to actually give power to this speaker and this speaker too um, and it's going to do that in a way where the subwoofer is going to plug into the wall it's going to get power and then it generates it all to this so nice I'm, I'm grateful that they offered a digital optical cable it does come with a dummy pin there to kind of protect the the port uh, so they included that I do have an optical cable or two laying around the LG speaker also did not come with one but Logitech definitely did and for the money like you know I'm, I'm hoping that these things sound good they got a subwoofer and a subwoofer automatically always makes you sound good no matter um, no matter what like the low frequency is really going to be the game changer for you uh, so I'm excited I'm gonna go ahead and get these things position how I want them to be in this room and then I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll get this fired up so we can do some comparisons in audio okay so um got this thing connected thank goodness for this tv stand being a full motion um gave me the ability to be able to move the tv over to be able to get things cleanly managed because the optical cable that it comes with pretty damn long um and so yeah, this is how I got it looking. At first, I started with these speakers up here, but it looked real corny. Like, it it, it didn't look player at all, man. It looked real corny. And um, still a little skeptical on how this one looks because it has the, the darn buttons on it, you know? And the buttons just doesn't look clean, in my opinion. Um, so, but... Yeah, this is the look of it all. Get this thing fired up on camera. Plug that up. So again, everything's plugging up to this unit. Port is on the left. So if you're facing it, it's on the left. If you're going with it, it's on the right. So I'm, I'm a fan of my port being rear firing so that it kind of hits the wall and you know escapes hits the room but we're going to see how this thing sounds i'm going to get it plugged up and then we'll do some comparison all right so sound test time i'm sitting in the sweet spot about five feet away from this tv this picture quality is amazing if you bought a c9 and you're watching this video please leave a like this is definitely a win for us c9 owners all right, so the way I'm going to do this test, again, I got the pin mic on. 
I am going to do 50% TV audio volume, then 50% with the system, then 100% TV, and then 100% with the system, okay? Um, so, as you can see, 49, it's on 50, right? So, let's get to this starting theme of Miles Morales Spider-Man. Okay, we're at 100% now. Let's hear what this is sounding like. Gotta keep going. Face all the way up now. Gotta keep going. All right, the Logitech Z six two fives. Man, listen. Um, just at a quick glance, nice. You don't know how nice they sound until you compare them directly to TV audio, which obviously you can't beat up TV audio too bad. Um, it's the reason that these manufacturers are still to this day trying to put new technology into the TVs. In fact, the C2, which I just did a podcast in my first podcast talking about it a couple of days ago, um, they're actually gonna be putting a virtual 7.1 in it because they're trying to make it where the TVs sound good. Now, up until this point, we've been listening to just TV audio on here with the Wii being my sons who play games in here primarily. Uh, it's their setup, but I'm gonna be sharing this setup over the next couple of weeks, creating some content, testing this TV, and so that I can make more content about it going forward because C9 still got a lot of life in it. We got over 12,000 hours running time with it. Uh, this speaker setup is nice, man. It, it's great. It's, uh, it's pretty clean. Um, it's about what I would expect from a desktop set of speakers. The added uh, optical port makes it so that you can get it in a living space. This is not something I would wanna have as like my main driver. Obviously it's a stereo setup, but it will be the most, as far as I'm concerned, economical way for you to get a quality sound. Um, it would be nice if there was like a remote, but again, I understand logically these being uh, desktop speakers the idea behind those is that they'll be sitting in front of you so that they're in arm's reach for you to be able to modify the sound setting. Something like a remote would have been cool though. Granted, you could use it in this application. I really think they made these primarily with PC gaming in mind though, because motherboards have optical ports. So if you guys got any comments, um, please leave them there. If there's something you need me to test, I own this, I bought this myself, wasn't donated, so I don't have to give this back. Um, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer back your questions and uh, 
Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video. As always, say, Max Love.